Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead and Candy Roth. The universe is crying for us. That's why. Uh, <laughs> uh, crying for me. We'll get to my tooth in a, in a few yeah, minutes, Yeah, here you are. I wasn't sure you'd be here today. I did the uh, the old tooth pull yesterday, which you uh, wimped wow. out on. I did. There's no way I was doing that. Lots of things I want to get to today. We will do um, some things with, uh, with you being quarantined. I have not heard about you and Brian much. I want to hear what's going on in your world, Candy. <laughs> Uh, we also can. Dis- you should ask. <laughs> well, I'm just setting you up for the kill, you know. All right, honey. All right. Uh, we will discuss my trip to the dentist. We will discuss yes. my my trip to the grocery store yesterday, Candy. Oh, you really got out in Germ Field. And then my sister. Amy, up in Albany, actually has a topic for us as well. So, oh, I thought you were going to tell me she got sick. That was not news no, I want to hear. No, we have a few things to get to. Let me start by saying this. How do you feel about President Trump saying he wants the country opened up by Easter, Candy? I think it's a nice thought. I don't think it's practical from what the experts, and I mean like the doctors and whatnot, are saying about the virus yet. I don't know. Listen, I'm going to go day by day. I agree with exactly what you said. I think it's definitely pie in the sky. I don't think there's any shot. I think we're just ramping up here, and everyone has to stay home. I will say, after he said it yesterday, the Dow Jones went berserk through the roof. So it did. So that was a good thing, right? <laughs> I guess that was a good thing. The stimulus package was uh, was passed in the uh, Congress, so which is a really good thing. Thank you for that. But um, yeah, I think we are not peaking on this thing, and I'm no doctor, but from what Fauci and all these others say, I don't think we're peaking on this thing till till May or or something like that. And I think everyone really needs to. To just stay where they are. We're going to be quarantined till May. Is that what you're saying? I don't know about you. I could get used to this basement broadcast. (laughs) You know, Brian was saying to me yesterday, he goes, I don't know why you want to go back to the office. You just get up, you go to work, you're done, you have your whole day. He's like, why do you need? I just, you know, I'll get used to it. That's all I'll say. Well, and and you know, with this morning movie thing, uh, I've been I've been telling everyone what movie I'm watching. Yesterday was Young Frankenstein. Right now, while we broadcast, I'm watching Scarface. Candy, how can you pay attention to me when you're watching Scarface? Oh, I, I multitask like uh, nobody's business. Forget about you it. You want I'm... to meet my little friend? <laughs> Something like huh? that. Something like that. Yes. Uh, okay. Here's some hopeful news. Researchers have found coronavirus is not mutating quickly, which means there's a chance it'll only take one vaccine to beat it. That's good. Right, because, you know, with the flu, there are many, many different varieties of the flu. That's right. Uh, The idiot spring breaker who said he's not scared of corona and he wants corona has issued a public apology, Candy. Does he have corona? I did not read that. Hmm. Uh, The FDA has fast-tracked clinical trials, get this, on an arthritis drug that may be able to treat some symptoms of coronavirus and may be able to help my back at the same time, Candy. Is this not a beautiful world? This is a beautiful world. And i got to tell you, that it's such interesting science with taking someone who's already been infected and taking their blood and the antibodies and putting those antibodies in somebody else and it helps them fight it. Amazing work. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, one more for you, and we will get to this in just a little bit. A grocery store CEO has said that the major initial rush might finally be over and things might be stocked up again. Well, let's ask you, Mr. Store uh, Storegoer. Was there toilet paper in the store you were at yesterday? Well, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about something important like garlic. I got so much garlic yesterday. You did? Yes. Yes, I did. All right. Then you're going to be just fine. More on that coming up. My Country 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.